um, was nice to get the opportunity tonight. What was your view of the play when you started this game? Uh, Howard made a great play flipping it out. Um, and then man staying on side, winning the battles. I don't know how it uh, got over to me, but slid over to me. So it was definitely, you know, awesome getting that one after sitting out the last uh, last couple games. Um, I think Nas is sort of used to it at this point, you know, um, he's been a great player for us all year. And obviously there's some animosity between the blues, you know, fan base, maybe the team and, and him, but uh, he definitely elevates his games in those environment. Um, he sort of relishes it. I think, you know, when you get the whole arena booing you, you sort of up your game for sure. So that was nice to see him uh, have a great game tonight. I'm sure it seemed like you guys when you got back in the game, struggling in game two, how good is it to get back to that game and play like you guys? Uh, well, of course it was a good, uh, good answer from the, from the last game, but we still know that we can, uh, we can uh, clean up some stuff in our game and, uh, you know, we just got to move on to the next one. Yeah, like pretty much the whole national teams. I, well, I've known him since like 15 or whatever. So played against him a lot, a lot of national team tournaments. So, uh, yeah, I know him pretty well. Uh, obviously felt good at the time. It was, a it was a big goal. So, uh, I mean, good. Uh, I, I knew that we had two. the whole, uh, whole bench was yelling to me that we had, uh, two, but I'll honestly, I wasn't even looking. Uh, I think there was, you know, maybe a little bit of a momentum swing there, but I think even before that, we felt our game coming a little more, um, we weathered it early. They were hard on us to begin with. We were really closing down. Uh, in the defensive zone. And then I think we started to roll things over a little more, getting a little more confidence with the puck. Um, you know, everyone was going after that and we were sort of coming in waves. So I guess a little bit, but I think our game was already trending in a good direction at that point. Were any of the coaches or any of the coaches telling you when you were scouting for so what you expect, what you do? Definitely. I think anytime a you know, goalie comes in after maybe not playing for a little bit, you just want to get pucks on net, get traffic. You know, no goalie likes traffic. So we tried to do that as much as we could. Um, and then we'll probably reassess tomorrow, depending on what happens with their goaltending situation, but look a little deeper into, uh, you know, the strengths and weaknesses of his game. Logan, I know you've been playing for game two, but what do you think the assistance for you is uh, I thought we were using our feet a little better. You know, we were coming five man attacks, uh, the breakouts, we had closer support. I think at the start of today's game was sort of how we looked last game where we weren't closing on them quick enough in the D zone. And you give, you know, their forward group the opportunity with time and space, they're going to be effective and come up with a lot of scoring chances. So I think it, our game started that way. And then as we went through the game, we, you know, trended in the right direction. We started using our feet more, breaking up plays, quick to contact, quick to seal outs. And I think that helped elevate our game throughout. And then we started to turn it over offensively. And once we get, you know, our big boys in the offensive zone, it's definitely an advantage for us. You even had more time off than everybody, as it turned out. How did you feel today? Felt pretty good. You know, time off always helps. You've got to be as focused as you can when you're out of the lineup, knowing that an opportunity could come. Um, try and work hard with the other guys that are out, the skills coaches, extra time, and just get your cardio to the best place it can be because who knows when that time will come. And when it does, you want to try and grab the opportunity as best you can. So, um, you know, didn't want the time off, but was good to work on some things in my game and keep the conditioning up. Uh, obviously, you don't want to see that happening to your uh your teammate it's uh I mean yeah I don't really know what to say anything else except uh you don't want to see that happening to anyone like it's uh 
tough play. Was it a clean play? I, I got I got no comment on that. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really get a good look at it, so um, not too sure on that one. Good, you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was uh, Bennington, but I mean, I was kind of a little tied up, so you have to ask him. Yeah, I was doing the interview, so I wasn't quite sure, but um, yeah, I think it was him. I'm, I don't know. I don't know for sure. What do you think about that contact? Obviously, you were battling against the deep position and you got caught up and slid into the goalie a little bit. How, how did you see it? Uh, I just see a loose puck, really. I mean, uh, I was kind of just sitting behind him and just tried to poke it with my stick. And I think their, uh, you know, defenseman kind of collided with me and, and pushed me uh, pushed me into him. So, you know, had that not been the case, I don't think I would have hit him at all. Um, it's a loose puck. I'm just trying to, trying to bang it in. Did you feel the um, not, not particularly. No, I mean, I think we, uh, hung in it all night, we did a lot of great things tonight. And I think we, uh, we definitely, uh, earned that one. Obviously going back to last season, uh, these fans aren't overly fond of you. Did you kind of thrive on that? Did you ruin every time you get to the club? Uh, I can't even really tell, to be honest with you. I'm just focused on what's happening on the ice and, uh, you know, just trying to worry about the guy across from me. So, um, you know, for me, it doesn't matter where. You know, what building I go into, I'm going to, you know, try to approach the game the same way. And um, that's what we did tonight. You obviously got two easy points, a big ball there, and then a helper. Can you just talk about those two plays? Uh, yeah, I think we, you know, executed great on the power play tonight. Uh, that kind of gave us momentum. And I'm not sure if it ran out or, you know, what the situation was. I think there was a few seconds left, but... Great, great play by Kale. I was able to get a stick on it, and uh, you know, obviously that was a difference maker in the game, and kind of got us going a little bit. And then uh, you know, just a great shot by Lecky. I think uh, put it on net, picked the corner, and you know, definitely uh, you know, key goals in the hockey game. I didn't bring this up yesterday. It seems like early in the year, Patrick seems like it feel like there's some personal things that seem to like. I don't know. For from my perspective, there's nothing personal. I mean, I'm just going out there to try to win and and compete. And uh, you know, if people take that personally, that's that's on them. For me, uh, you know, what happens on the ice kind of stays on the ice. And you know, I'm just I'm a competitor. I, I want to win. And uh, you know, that's that's really that's it. Gio, what do you think of the hit on Jar? Uh, I mean, questionable, I guess. But um, you know, I'd have to. To watch it again, obviously, is a key defenseman for us. And, you know, would have loved to see at least a power play come out of that. But, you know, I'm sure the league's going to look at it and, uh, you know, make a decision. Kyle said he didn't have his legs in the opening game this year. Do you think this helps tonight? Kyle doesn't need his legs. He's uh, He's got his head and he's got his hands. So, um, you know, obviously he's a, you know, miraculous skater. And, you know, him skating at 50% is probably better than most. So, you know, he's such a mature kid for his age. And, you know, it doesn't matter if he's feeling it or not, he's going to get the job done, and that's just the kind of person he is. Two more, please. That third period, uh, you guys really seemed to lock it down. If you weren't giving much. What was said in between the, the second and the third, given that? Just to continue, you know, I think, uh, you know, the ice was kind of tilted, tilted in our favor in that second period. I think we, uh, you know, gained some momentum, and we were feeling really good about our game. So, you know, that's what I love most about this group is, uh, you know, showing that maturity and that peskiness to just, you know, shrug that off and uh, and keep moving forward. Last one. Okay, thank you, Nas. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, uh, you know, the most important thing is I thought we were highly competitive tonight in all areas of our game. So were they. Right. So um, they played hard. We played hard um, and, and we did a lot of good things. I liked their checking game. I mean, there is a stint there, uh, you know, early looked like we were a little tentative um, nerves possibly. 
and then end of the set i liked their second period but end of the second we gave up four or five scoring chances in a three or four minute span there and they got the second goal um, where we were um, not great with the puck and we didn't get above it quick enough um, but third was was really good from a checking standpoint and we did enough to get to the net i mean we, we worked hard there's not a lot of room out there tonight five on five and i thought uh, our guys competed their butts off and um yeah so lots of positives you know things we talked about uh, after game two that we needed to pr improve on and things we could look for offensively I thought we did a nice job and on the defending side of it same thing yeah he's out um he sam uh, broke his sternum so he's gone to the hospital and uh, getting looked at but he'll he'll be out yeah what's your opinion of the day you know, I didn't love it seeing it live. Looking back on it, I mean, it's a heavy collision. Kind of comes around and he just catches him in a bad spot. But I didn't think the hit, um, I didn't, I thought it was a legal check, to be honest with you. Yeah, he kind of goes in uh, on his head side, but he got a lot of body there. He just kind of, he was turned the wrong way and he went in awkward. And I mean, it was a heavy, heavy check. So, um, unfortunate, but to be honest, I think it was, it was a legal check. Listen, reputation, it doesn't mean anything. It's either a legal player. It's not, you know, we've talked about this with Naz. And, and the way he's trying to change his reputation of making sure that he's playing through checks and plays legal or non-legal. And they're going for – that D and Naz are both going for a loose puck sitting at the top of the crease, skating in there downhill, you know, as hard as they can go. And, and both guys go in there. It, it, he's They're both going after the puck the same way, and they collide before they go in. So it – Again, unfortunate. Same as same as Gerard for me. There's no, there's that. That's a legal play, and you know it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. What do you think of your team's third after giving up that? I liked our third a lot. Yeah, I liked our third a lot. I thought we stayed assertive. We had some, you know, we had some opportunities and. And, you know, they, they broke up a, a handful of plays that I really liked. We did the same thing at the other end, but we played hard and we were disciplined with the puck. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. Any I haven't heard that. No, I didn't see that. Not, not for us. I mean, focus on the task at hand. You know, I don't know that it changes regardless of who's in net form. It's just we got to keep playing our game. You know, like we talk to our guys a lot about getting to our identity and playing our game and make sure we're hard to play against and highly competitive and that our intensity level needed to be where it was for every play. And, you know, that, that, that's what we focus on, the process that makes us successful and, 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 and basically nothing else. You know, once we make our tactical adjustments and talk about things that we have to continue to do well, things that we need to do better on both sides of the puck, then, then it's go time, you know. And so for us, it was just focus. This is probably something that we could talk about tomorrow, but in terms of your depth at the obviously you're going to be in good shape there with the guys that you have available. Right? Yeah, we, I mean, yeah, we've got some guys that have been, you know, in tough decisions every night on lineup, no question. Um, and we, but we've got some guys who have played really well for us back there this year, you know, and uh, so we'll, someone else is going to get an opportunity here. We're needing to step in and step up. Okay. So, Jack Johnson. Right. Yep, I thought he was great. You know, he worked highly competitive, brought that tenacity that you need on the puck. Um, that line did a nice job tonight. You know, 
Um, they played some tough minutes. They didn't play a lot of minutes, but they played some tough minutes for us. And and um, he scores right away, you know, and uh, you need those guys that are out of the lineup to stay focused and ready. And he came in and did a really nice job and got us a big goal. Just a few more, please. I was going to ask that. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, the whole, our whole decor, decor, you know, uh, Kale had a really nice game for us tonight, more involved and looked like himself again in, in against a tough team that doesn't give you a lot of room. And uh, But Oliver D, I thought, like, you lose a guy like Gerard right away that plays 20-plus minutes for you, everyone else to step up. I thought Manson and EJ and, and um, uh, Bo all did, uh, you know, an equally impressive job. It's a it's tough team to play against. They got a lot of firepower, and they did a nice job shutting them down. It seemed like they had a pretty strong start. What was kind of the on the bench? Did you feel like there was any particular moment that kind of swung the game back to the uh, no, I thought we were, like I said, a little tentative out of the gate. And then as we kind of got playing a little bit, just every minute got a little bit better and got ourselves into the game. Not a, not the ideal start you want. Like you could sense there was a little nervousness, but I, I give our guys a lot of credit for playing through that. Darcy came up with some big saves for us when we needed him tonight. Um, as we had some breakdowns, especially at the end of the second. And they got the one, but um, kept us in a good spot going into the third. Yeah, thank you, Jared. Yep, thanks, sir. Thanks, Jared.